I feel like Donna Summer, Diana Ross. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to let you know that if my hair could stay like this every single day, oh, I could see the sky opening. So I'm going to, I want to share with you all a few things that I have learned on this most amazing journey. And I want to let you all know um, a little bit about me because there's so many of you that actually are new to my page. And I want to let you know how I rebuilt a new me. What's up, girls? What's up? What's up? There we go. And I'm also going to let you know the robe is off. And I'm not going to talk long because I have goosebumps. Just saying that the robe is right here waiting to crawl back onto my skin. But I want to let you know a few things. So some of you, again, like I said, are super new to me to get to know me. So I want to let you know who I am and what I'm about. Um, I am a special education paraprofessional who works with um, many different children, many, and I love each and every one of them passionately. Um, I wouldn't trade them in for the world, but being their advocate, being a um, union president, being a health and wellness coach, each and every one of those has built me, but the me that I truly am excited about, the one that got built and started rebuilding back in 2015, it's been four glorious years, almost four and a half. And I want to share something with you that I did only once, but it was so impactful so meaningful that a few people have asked me about it, about the journey that I was on. And I want to share with you guys something that truly has become part of my identity. There isn't many things. Hey, thanks for coming. I'm so excited. So there isn't a lot that I could truly say that has done a lot of good for me. Many of you know that I was 370 pounds. You, my pictures are there for you to all look at. Many of you know that I was a very shy person. Many of you do know also that I have been battling with thinning of the hair. I battle with extra skin. I battle with my inabilities. And I battle with pain daily. But this journey, this journey is so amazing. So amazing. I've learned so much personal growth, but I want to show you what's truly helped me get to where I am 195 pounds less today. I'm a very good plateau person and I could say I've never had that before in my life. I put on a pair of pants last week, or Monday, this week, that I put on two years ago. That was not the Cheryl I was. But I bring up the children that I work with because I find them all so unique. And I work with autistic children. I work with special education in general. And I work with a general population. But each of those kids in elementary school loves to play with blocks. I like to play with blocks. I find them so fascinating. But these blocks, they've taught me so much. So much. Each and every one of these blocks is a part of my regrowth. It's a part of who I am. And I want to share it with you. Starting this lifestyle in 2015 is a renewing of my faith that I could take this journey into a healthy lifestyle. Four and a half years later, I'm still here. And I'm playing with my blocks.
I didn't know that I could truly take my eating, my obsession with food, and I could create healthy habits and develop a new mindset. It's all part of the building. It's a foundation. I'm building my foundation. So amazing. Absolutely amazing. I've taken the diet roller coaster beyond. I've probably gained and lost a thousand pounds in my diet history. But what I found out is this is not a diet. It's not restrictive. It's a lifestyle. And it's amazing. And I'm building my blocks. My foundation. It's amazing. It's amazing. While I'm building my foundation, I want to share something else with you. Previous diets, I had to give up a lot. I gave up sugar. I gave up fat. I gave up carbohydrates. I ate popcorn for a living. I did Weight Watchers. I did Atkins. I did Slim Fast. I ate boxed foods. I ate canned foods. And I still eat some canned foods, just better. But what I found out as I'm building my foundation, you could have your favorite foods, just portion them out, right? So amazing, right? I'm still a five year old and I'm building, I'm building my blocks building my foundation and it's so amazing they only stick for so long when I was growing up and I was on these diet roller coasters I didn't have anybody to support me nobody did I didn't know that you were truly capable of finding people because there was no one but you know what I found out in this journey? That I could surround myself with like-minded people. And they love me. And they support me. And they like to play with blocks too. Pretty freaking cool, right? I'm going to keep building my foundation, if you will. Hang on. There's one more. It's a small block. It's a block that, that means so much. And what a lot of you don't know is that these blocks, they've been revamped. They have a new beginning too. I used to set huge goals for myself. I thought if I ate healthy one day, I'm going to lose the weight overnight. That is not true. You can't eat your pills and expect weight loss. You can't drink a drink and expect weight loss. You can't exercise yourself to death and expect it to be attainable. You can't put a wrap around you and expect it to last. All of those things, I don't even know what some of them are. But if that were the case and it were supposed to work, we would not have obesity in our nation. We would not be overweight, morbidly obese. Our country, if we could have those quick fixes, we would not be, thanks, we would not be where we are today. So I set small attainable goals weekly. And some of my friends, they do it daily. Just to wake up and smile is a goal. To say I love myself is a goal. To build these blocks in front of you, to bear my skin, to share my story, to live this life in front of you daily while I build my foundation, while you build your foundation, there's nothing more amazing. Each one of these colors 
I own that foundation. They signify a part of my journey that I have learned to overcome. And I want to take you on that journey too. If you wanted to join this journey, I want to help you. I didn't have to say to some of my new people that you have to lose 100 pounds. Some of them just want to lose 5 pounds and learn how to be healthy. Some of them just wanted to be supported and loved. It's a foundation. The foundational fix for your life ultimately will change your life forever. It has taught me clarity. It has taught me how to live life longer, stronger, and to surpass the people that have left my world at the age of 54 and 52, 60 and 64. I've lost a lot of people in my life, but now I teach how to live your life. So if you want to build your foundation, ultimately fix your life, forever. Now's the time. Join me. You will never regret saying I took the time to make an investment in myself. And me as your coach will truly get you to where you want to be. And everyone that joins with me always gets some mama juice. And they also get a journal to help write down all of your thoughts and feelings, negative and then you have to spin it to a positive on how to just make life better. So as I end every video in honor of my mother who lost her life to heart disease and morbid obesity, you only have one life. You only have one heart. Love it, honor it, cherish it for life. It's yours. I love you all. Have a great night and I look forward to taking you on this journey on building your foundation. Have a great night.